engine, a new pumper at this firehouse. It was commissioned in the early 80s. Uh, Chief Eigel said he thinks they got a new tender in 1990. So that was the last time there was a new rig up here, which is a few years ago. Um, somehow, through the work of Chief McLaughlin, all the residents of uh, our district were able to get a mill levy pass for the first time in another ridiculous amount of time. And we're actually able to purchase a new one. We actually purchased two of these, and one of them's going up here. One of the reasons it's going up here, Station 3 is actually turned around. It used to be the running joke was Station 3 was a place where apparatus go to die. And that's what we all joked about, and that's what we all said, you know, that's, that's what it is. Um, the old engine 433 is next to it. You can see it's a 1990 GMC top kick. Top speed of right around 45. It'll go 55 downhill. Um, it rattles. We stopped pump testing it about eight years ago because it just wouldn't pass. Um, but it, it was still functional. This year, we're actually going to put this in service. So what we're doing now, the wet down. The wet down is a... a uh, Thing the fire service has been doing since the early 1800s ish with the uh, horse drawn pumpers. Horse drawn pumpers to get to the firehouse, everybody wash down the horses and they back the pumper into the firehouse. A lot of times you have other companies come out, other fire companies, old fire trucks wash it down. Here our water system is not such. We're not going to go take something out of one of the ponds and uh, wash it down, so we'd have to wash it again. What we're going to do, we're just going to wash it here and everybody's got to get a hand, get a hand in it. My boy's been excited for two days to wash a fire truck. <laughs> what it is, is everybody, all the firefighters, everybody in the community, everybody who is part of getting this can actually help get it in service. Then once it's washed down, we're all going to get behind it, we're going to push it into its bay, and it'll be in service, ready to respond and help the uh, members of our community. So that's, that's kind of all I've got. I'm not terribly wordy. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Chief McLaughlin, then we'll uh, wash it down, push it in, then we'll have lunch. Chief? Right. You know, I'd just like to say thanks again to everybody who helped, uh, you know, make the mill levy happen. Uh, you know, as, uh, as Captain Ware mentioned, it was, uh, you know, that uh, the other engine was, it was actually 1989, and it served the district well, but, uh, you know, one of the things that, that's really happened with, with, you know, with this station up here is not only have we had older equipment, but the, um, you know, the, uh, uh, a lot of times when any of the engines are out of service, you know, the the engine here would end up being pulled to another station. So because we've been, you know, running really older apparatus for so long, you know, we've been without a fire engine at this station pretty much half the time over the last couple of years. So now uh, not only do we have this one, we have another one that's down at station one that, you know, means that if uh, we have a station, an engine that has to go in for maintenance, you know, we still have a, an engine uh, available, and that's a, that's a big step up for us, knowing that, you know, everybody in this community up here is going to have a, you know, a crew. we got a really dedicated crew that lives up here now, and uh, we've got a good, a good engine that's going to be uh, really useful for us. Now, this is also the time we're going to be saying goodbye to the old yellow engine. It's, uh, like I said, it served us well, um, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's time for it to be passed down too. And fortunately for us, instead of continuing to pass down old engines, uh, we're actually gonna see that one uh, head up the road and it's gonna actually end up uh, out in Grant if uh, all goes well, um, you know, where it'll hopefully serve, uh, serve the residents out there. So, um, you know, again, thanks to everybody. Uh, I think this is a really a big, a big day for all of us. And, uh, you know, before we get started with this, uh, Beth, would you like to say a few words? It is indeed a great day. Uh, beautiful weather in our places where we live, but also it's beautiful because all of you who are here, uh, your dedication, uh, these firefighters are the best. And I'm so proud of them and so proud to be associated with Elk Creek Fire. And the community, thank you. You're the best, too. Uh, this never could have happened without community support. So uh, I would just like to offer a prayer of thanks for all of us. Gracious God, you are good, and you have bestowed upon us the beauty of your creation. You have also given us men and women of dedication and drive and concern and care for their community. We 
we ask that you will bless the men and women, the firefighters and medics of Elk Creek Fire Department, that you will keep them safe, that they will be able to serve this community well. We also ask for your blessing on the community, that they too may enjoy the gifts of your creation and their homes, that they may feel a little safer as well. For all your goodness, we say thanks. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. All right, with that, engine. we're going to go ahead and give it a wash down. We've actually, <laughs> want to get the hose and the buckets, and uh, we'll round up the kids and everybody. we got plenty of buckets, and everybody get a lick in on it. <laughs> we'll make sure it's all nice and clean. And uh, then we're going to push it back in its bay, and it'll be ready to serve the... Uh, I technically count as a kid. So by the way, everybody, after we get it in the in the uh, bay, it'll be free rides for anybody who wants it around the neighborhood. And we have a car seat in the back. <laughs>